What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the Ultimator Dyna Spool. I've been using this for the last couple of months of the season and it was a little bit of a learning curve at first, but now I can't live without it. Before this, I always used the figure eight method to manage my Dyna Glide, but this has proved time and time again to be a better way to spool and unspool my Dyna Glide. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to use this and show you the reasoning behind this swivel clip and we're also going to show you how to spool it up on a brand new spool so let's get at it so although this was designed for the saddle hunter uh, it's definitely not just for saddle hunters. If you're hunting out of a stand, you know, whether it be a ladder stand, a climber, any way that you're getting up in a tree, this will definitely serve a purpose for you. You can use it to pull up your bow or rifle, let down your bow or rifle, or you can just use it as a way to retrieve your uh, rappel line. So I'm going to get this thing cut off here and I'm going to show you how to spool it onto the new spool. And then I want to show you some really uh, easy ways to use this. So for the clip end of the Dynaglide, what I've done is I've tied a scaffold knot on one end. So I wanted to make this removable without having to untie or retie the knot. So I'm going to girth hitch the big loop of the scaffold knot onto the Dynaglide. Once I get it girth hitched, then I'll tighten up the scaffold knot. So now you can see the girth hitch around the clip and then the scaffold knot below it. So I'm going to cut my excess off and we will burn the end. This is kind of waxy string, so it's not going to melt like your typical paracord will, but at least it'll harden up enough where it won't slip back through the knot. So you can see that's very clean and that is extremely strong. On the inside of the spool, you can see there's a little loop right there. So you're just gonna feed your Dynaglide through there, like so. Pull it through, tie a couple overhand knots. Just big enough where it won't come back through the loop. Cut the excess off just to make it clean. Pull it tight. I wouldn't pull too tight on that because I don't know how strong that little loop's gonna be. But <clears throat> another thing I would do is about six or eight inches above your spool. This was a recommendation by Ultimator to tie a little loop in it. This will not get in the way of spooling it, but what this does is it allows you to attach a carabiner to both ends of the Dynaglide without actually having to attach it directly to the Dyna spool because you don't want to, you know, attach anything to this. It's not a load bearing device. This will allow you to, you know, lower something down from the tree and then hook the other end to your uh, rappel line. So you can let something down. Once you get down to the bottom of the tree, you can pull your rappel line down. This is where the uh, swivel clip on the other end comes in. So once you start spooling, you'll notice that the cord will start twisting, see? And it makes it kind of difficult to, to spool it because it keeps bunching up below your fingers. So you can take the clip, and I'm gonna clip it right here. Make sure you pay attention to the swivel part. And I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna back out away from it. And as I spool it, you can see that swivel starts to spin. Now the reason I showed you this was when you attach this end to your rappel line and you drop your spool down to the ground, <clears throat> whenever you start to pull down your rappel line and you're winding it up as you go, the Dynaglide will start twisting and that swivel right there will allow it to take that twist out as you're spooling it and it makes it a heck of a lot easier to spool up. Very simple but effective feature. Another thing that you will notice whenever you get this is there are some slits. There's one here, one here. If you flip it over, there's one here and one here. So what that allows you to do 
is put your Dynaglide in that slit and it keeps it from unraveling. Now, sometimes that may come out, but whenever you spool it up on your last couple of loops around the spool, just pull it real tight and that will also keep it from unspooling. So I use this for three things. I use it for pulling my bow up, lowering my bow down, and retrieving my rappel line. I'm gonna show you two ways that you can do that, but first I'm gonna show you what I have found to be the easiest way. This is the Ultimator OSP pack, and what I do is I stick it in that front pocket, zip it up, and I kinda just let this hang. And there's enough tension there where it's not gonna unravel. So when I get to the tree, I pull this out, and I clip it to my bow, and as I climb, this just unravels. And then so when I get up into the tree, all I've got to do is grab this line and pull my bow up. Once I get ready to come down, I do the same thing. I hook this to my bow and I lower it down. That loop that I made earlier, I hook this night eyes through this loop and I hook this to my rappel line. So when I get down to the ground, all I've got to do is tug on this Dynaglide and it releases my rappel line and it falls to the ground. All I got to do is ravel it back up and put it back in my pouch. So the reason I like this way better is the tension from it being in the pocket keeps the spool from unraveling unpredictably. So there are other ways to do it. I'm going to show you one now. This is the only other way that I like to use it. On the other side of my saddle, I've got this little paracord lashing uh, tool that I made. This thing serves many purposes. You know, I can hook anything to it as I'm coming down or going up or, you know, just something I want to hang on to that I don't want to fall. Uh, you know, I just use this to secure it. But what I found, you can run that through there, clip it on. Now you've got a way that you can allow it to unspool. Again, the reason I don't like that is because as soon as you hook it up and let go of it, it allows it to unravel at any given time. If you use this method, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pull your Dynaglide real tight on your last few spools, and then you hook it into slices in the spool. Take your clip and clip it onto your night eyes, and that will also keep it from unspooling. So that's two ways that you can use this that I've found is extremely easy. Uh, it's very convenient to be able to spool that up and shove it into that front pocket and have it ready to go at any time. I was going to do a video of me climbing and using this, but it's very self-explanatory. And uh, if you guys are watching this video, you've probably got enough sense to use this. So I think that you guys will definitely be able to figure this one out. This is a very effective, simple, inexpensive tool to be able to manage your Dynaglide and lift your gear up into the tree, lower it down from the tree, and retrieve your rappel line. Go check out ultimator.com. I have the link in the description. They've got some awesome new products out right now. They've got the OSP pack, the Dynaspool. They've also got these phone holders out now. Uh, a pretty cool way to be able to keep your phone at right there in front of you at all times. This is the clamp mount and the mag mount. Stay tuned for a video coming up on those two. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time in Rob's Man Cave.